we go. This is uh, Humberto channel and YouTube uh, Cyber Truck 657. We're gonna do some work on this truck. It actually, it's my truck, truck number 657. And we got the technician here. Your name, buddy? My name's Casey Estrada. How you doing? All right. What are we gonna do? Will you explain what we're doing on this truck right now, sir? So what we got going on here today is we're doing a brake job for this individual right here. He wanted to make sure that he would stay within the DOT regulation limit. For those of you who don't know, the minimum DOT thickness for your pads around at a quarter of an inch. I don't know if you can see right there. It's better to see right there, but a quarter of an inch. So his brake pads right now, if you get them measured, go ahead and get this one right here, you'll see that they're at a quarter of an inch. And that's your minimum point right there from your brake shoes, what they're supposed to be at. We're going ahead and changing the drums as well because these drums have what is the lip on them. I don't know if you can see they got a lip on this drum whenever you have a lip like that it's normally best to go and replace the drum as well because if you don't what with that lip that drum has gotten thin and as it if it gets too thin it can cause it to get too hot and it can crack it and then that can also cause like, another DOT violation right there all right if you mind to uh, show us which uh, tools you're using to do the job yeah no problem so what we got here is we got I actually took these lug nuts off with this half inch drive Milwaukee this thing is a beast had no trouble busting off these 33 millimeter lug nuts I got myself a 33 millimeter six point so got those off and what I did is I went ahead and loosened the slack adjuster so what tools you got over here that you'll need is a I got 11 millimeter with a little uh, three inch drive ratchet you back off that slack adjuster over here is your slack adjuster and once you got it backed off enough you should be able to get this drum and hit it with a big old sledgehammer like so whenever you hit it it'll eventually get it loose enough where you can slide this drum off and you can back it off now what I got here to make it easy so I don't hurt my back is I got a drum dolly this one is a Norco brake drum handler is what it's called and it just makes it easy you can just slide on and off you come on back here put this out of the way come on back here once you got it off flip it forward too easy and also the neat thing about that now you got something to sit on <laughs> that's good too. that's good that's good all right all right so what we got here is this one i already had a broke spring But if you didn't have a broke spring, what I say is the easiest thing to do is get a set of vice grips. Here we go, we got some vice grips. I found whenever I worked at Love's Travel Stops that the easiest way to get these springs off was to get a set of vice grips. And clamp them on the spring. Now granted, we've already got it off, but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Get that. Once you got on there, you just kind of push down, and you pull nice. that, comes right off. It's too easy. Once you got off, once you, you should just be able to pull that whole thing off like so. Now, while you got this off, it's a good thing to know. You want to check your S cams, your slack adjusters. This one does not seem to have a bushing set. But what can happen is if these are not kept lubricated or if the bushings go bad, it can cause your S-cam to get kind of crooked. Whenever that happens, it can cause your drums, for those of you who ever see your drums like this, or your shoes or your drums, let's see your, you ever see your shoes like this where they're one's in and one's out? That's normally an indication that you got some bad S-cam bushings Okay. And that your S cam bushing need to be changed, and also whenever you take it apart, your S cam may also have to be replaced depending on if it's worn or not. All right, so we're going back to getting this fixed. All right. Let's say you want to uh, before you take this apart. I forgot to mention it's also good to go and have your parts ready. I had went ahead and gotten the parts looked up for this one, and what you want to go by is your diameter. 
which is a 16.62 by 14.22.1 millimeter. And your diameter Back to is this drum uh, referencing your sizes. This is also what you got here is your comet number. The comet number is sort of like your part number. And the, the part number for that would be right here, I would do believe. If you don't have, or if you're not quite sure what your correct drum size should be, you can also get your VIN number off your truck and call the manufacturer or the dealer and give them the last six or last eight of that VIN number and they can pull up what drums you need and you can go get them from them. All right, thank you. What's gonna be stamped on the edge of this uh, drum right here and your shoe part number is normally gonna be stamped on the drums, uh, a pad shoe somewhere. Unfortunately for this one, I didn't already have it looked up. But if you don't know it, what you can do is you can bring this to your parts person and he can normally size it up for you, which is what I'm gonna end up doing for this one today. All right. So we just wanna wait to uh, get all the parts together and do this all this work and we don't want to bother you with all this set up and all those parts so we come back when all the parts are ready to assemble it and we're gonna go from there so all right we're back we're gonna show you at this point how we're gonna assemble the whole thing so tell us what you're gonna do now all right so what we got here is we got pro car brake pads right here for those of you who want to know what the part number is um, I'm not quite sure exactly, but I think this is it. It's PRWOBKN4709. I'm not going to read all that. Y'all can see it on the camera, I'm pretty yep. sure. So we got Pro Par brake shoes here. So for those who want to know the tools, so what tools I got here, I got me a set of vice grips and our 11 millimeter back with 3 inch drive ratchet for our slack adjuster. You're going to need a 33 millimeter. Torque wrench uh, with the 33 millimeter socket with the torque wrench. The torque wrench has got to be set to 475 foot pounds. Then we got our new drum right over there on the dolly already set up, ready to go. And that should be just about all you need. And a good old man, you just can't beat the walker. You're gonna need yourself a good old impact to put those lug nuts back on. All right, so let's get started. All right. So first thing you're gonna do is you get your new hardware here. You're gonna get these little uh, S cam rollers. They're going to go right on here, slide right into the uh, new brake shoes. Pretty easy. It goes right on there. Now, it varies per set of brake shoes you get. It's not, they're not all the same. All right. So, these ones already have pins installed, but for those of you who have seen the other ones, they have other pins where you have to hammer them in, but these are actually coming pretty easy, so that's pretty simple right there. That's awesome. So you get your spring, you latch it on to the first one, and this is what I found is the easiest way. You get your other one, and you can just pick it up as a whole assembly like this. It's pretty neat. Come over here, you're going to wrap it around with your spider. Just for those of you who are watching this, remember we're being safe here. We got two jack stands set up. I just had the jack just being as an extra support. So I'm gonna go ahead and not get that out of my way though. Always safety first, you know. Gloves, safety glasses, bump hat, jack stands. Okay. Take your 11 millimeter right here. Gonna move that S cam. So I guess I guess whoever did the brakes last time they didn't have the S cam turned the right way. So you want to make sure that you got your notches so you can fit these little S cam rollers on there. That's what we were having trouble with. We couldn't get them set. So now that we got them set. We'll make sure that you're all the way pressed so you'll be able to get your drum on there easier. What do you want, Jesse? Mr. Jesse, by the way. If anybody 
anybody doesn't know, he's a, he's a, he's a tool thief. He's always taking my stuff from all the way Hi. So now we got all this set. I forgot to mention, we got these other springs. Let's say you took this apart, you didn't know how these went. You can come over here to the other side. And you can reference how they're supposed to be set. So it's like, hey man, I forgot how these go. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Too easy, huh? So now I know they're supposed to go over this way. We've got our springs. We've got our awesome universal multi-tool vice grips. It's like the mechanics version of pliers for everything. Go and clamp them on that bottom spring. You want to make sure you got these tight because if you don't, you can really bust some knuckles. I don't think anybody wants to play bloody knuckles. You just push down. Make sure you got them in there. They, for those of you who are in um, two world and, and you're looking at me like I'm an idiot, yeah, they do make a tool for this, but I don't have it. Looks. Yeah. Go. Nope. All right. So now we got everything on. Now we get our. All right. See, so we got our drum right here. We're gonna pick it up with the dolly. I'm gonna slide it right on, like so. Once you get about right there, you want to go ahead and remove this little latch. Make it easier. And it goes right up. Just like that. Nice. What you want to make sure is that this is flush or pretty, pretty flush with your new pads. You don't want it coming out too far and you don't want it being back too far this way. You want it just like this. Alright. Now that we got the drum on. What we're going to do is you don't want to do your brake adjustment until you go ahead and have everything put back on, your tires, ribs, and everything. All right. So we'll go ahead and come over here and get our first tire. We're going to dance with it. Well, I'm pretty sure we already know how <laughs> everybody can put this tire on, so... I'm just gonna go from there. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. We got that pump right there, so we're gonna put them. We're gonna reinstall the tires, and uh, we guys, uh, we let you know, guys, how everything's going, how everything is done. Okay, we'll see you, and uh, stay tuned for next videos. Got everything put back together. You're gonna go ahead and, and got all the lug nuts and stuff. See, you're gonna go get right here with your 11 millimeter again, three inch drive. You're going to tighten down that slack adjuster until it can't move anymore. You're going to back it off with a good roll of thumb, a quarter of a turn. Okay. Now, each slack adjuster varies from brand to brand and what it is. But if you don't know, that's a good uh, rule to follow. And then for your steers, you would normally back them off half a turn. So we're going to get this going. And we're going to back it off our quarter turn. Whoops. All right. All right. Now, whenever you've done that, for both sides, you've tied them down, you've got everything put back together, and you've backed them off a quarter turn. What you want to do then is you want to hit the brakes and you want to check your brake stroke. You want both sides to be the same stroke. As long as it's within, it's like two inches, is the, I think the max stroke. I wouldn't quote me on that, I'd research it yourself. But you don't want it any more than that. And once you've got all that done, you'll torque down your lug nuts to 475 foot pounds, and you'll be done. After you, of course, you gotta remove the jack stands too. You don't want them driving off and having sparks. <laughs> all right. I've seen it happen. Okay, yeah, some videos are showing that part. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do this side too. You know that we're gonna put. Who's gonna do the drum again with the dolly? 
you know, fix it up and everything and put them all together and do the same thing as he did on this. So we don't want to bother you with that part again. So we just go from there and see the other part, okay? Okay, well, that was how you change the brakes and the drums on your tractor. And this tractor was a T680 2015. So, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, put them on the video, put them down there, and we'll go from there. So, thanks for watching the video, and hopefully you will like it and share it and enjoy it. Thank you. See you next time.